Selling online courses is one thing, but being able to build an engaging and value-driven community is the name of the game. And today I'm going to share how you can use a rapidly becoming popular online course and community platform called school.com. This platform makes selling online courses and building online communities rewarding and exciting for both the creator and their community members. Okay, so just quickly, before you go ahead and launch into school, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into this online course and community platform. Okay, so getting started with school for free on a 14-day free trial, simply click on the link in the description below this video, or head over to school.com and that's going to take you here. Then simply add your details here and then sign up. Now, once you've signed up and you've navigated through the process of setting up your free 14 day trial and you've created a group, you'll be taken inside your school group account. Now, first and foremost, school.com is a community driven platform. It's designed to keep all your members in one place and to foster engagement. For example, let's navigate over to community. This is where you, your admins and your members can collaborate together through posts. You or your community members can simply come down and add a post. I'm going to quickly add something here. As a member, I could add an issue like this, a post. I can then add attachments, add a link, embed a video. I can also add a poll as well as add emojis and a GIF. The member can choose a category, for example, digital strategies, and then click on post. Also, as an admin, what I can do is send an email to all my members by turning this on, and as soon as I publish this post, all my online and offline members will be notified. Okay, so I'm going to close this. And just quickly, I wanna cover settings. You can see my group has this cover image here. I also have a description about my group and then useful links to helpful resources. You can see how many members you have, how many members you have online, as well as admins. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on settings. Here you can share the link to your group and your group landing page will look something like this before someone signs up to your group. As you can see, this group is a paid community, meaning that my members will pay $9 per month to access this group. However, they can cancel at any time and you can charge what you like. If we jump back into settings and navigate over to subscriptions, this is where you can add your different pricing models. You can add a free subscription or you can set your own monthly subscription price. And this all just depends on how you want to monetize your group. If we navigate over to general, this is where you can set up your page. You can add a logo, a cover photo, you can add your group name, and you can also change your group URL. You also want to add a group description, your initials, as well as add your branding colors, and choose if your group is private or public. I recommend adding your group as a private group, especially if you want to create an exclusive community. So again, make sure you take the time to optimize your group settings. Then navigate over to categories, and this is where you can add specific categories that can be selected when somebody creates a post inside of the community section. Now, if we navigate down to gamification, school incentivizes engagement through gamification. Essentially, engagement leads to points, and as your members engage, they'll be rewarded points. And the more points that your members receive, they can unlock specific courses. For example, you can edit these specific levels. Here we have level three, Builder 2.0. If I click on edit, we can edit the name of this level. And when you create and add courses to your classroom inside your group, you can connect your courses to specific levels, meaning that your members can unlock exclusive courses when they reach higher levels. Okay, so let's cancel this. As you can see, we currently have no courses connected. Okay, so let's close settings and then navigate over to classroom. And as you can see, this is where you can host and manage all your courses. To create a new course, simply click on new course. And you can add details about that course, the course name, the course description, and who has access to this course. If we click here, we can choose all members have access or only some members have access, and we can choose those members or members of a certain level. If we click here, we can choose the level that has access to this course. And then we can upload a cover for this image. For now, I'm going to cancel this and navigate over to this draft course that we created earlier. As you can see, this course is currently in draft. If I click here and then click on these three dots, we can come down and edit this set. So this is what we call a set. If I click on this drop down and then click on this course here, this is what we call a module. So within this course, we have one course set and then we have three modules. 
So these core sets are used to manage your individual modules. Let's click on this module here and then click on these three dots and we have these different options down here. Let's go ahead and edit this module. We can also add a video if this is a video course and then we can add details, instructions or other information about this course. We can also link materials and access these other formatting options. We can also navigate down here and add resource links, add resource files as well as add a transcript. Okay, so let's cancel out of this. If we navigate up to the course itself, here we can come down and add a set. Remember, a set is used to manage all your modules. And then we can add modules inside our set and we can delete this course if we like. If we click on edit course, that's going to take us back here where we can edit the course name, we can edit the course description, and we can also choose who has access to this course. I'm going to limit the access by clicking here and then coming down to members of a certain level. This is a basic course. However, in order for my members to access this course, I want them to reach at least level three. And when you're ready to publish your course, simply come down and click on publish. Okay, so I'm going to cancel this for now and then navigate over to calendar. Hey guys, just quickly before we get back to this video, I just want to mention my Sheetify CRM, an all-in-one business toolkit and CRM built with Google Sheets and designed for Google users. You can simply manage leads, customers, tasks, engage in email marketing, manage your inventory, tickets, and more. The great part is I've made this Sheetify CRM a one-time payment, no subscriptions, unlimited access, and future updates. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the link to my Sheetify CRM RM down below in the description. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Here you can add specific events for your community. If we navigate down, we can create an event for all members or for members at a specific level or members in a course. This could be a live course or a group consultation or a one-on-one -on -one consultation or coaching. Again, this allows you to drive community value and engagement. And that's exactly what you want in order to retain your members on a month to month basis. So again, in order to drive community engagement, what you want to do is engage with your community. Allocate time every day to engage with your members. Ask questions, answer questions and provide value. Again, you can provide value through courses. You can create courses, meaning that your community members must engage with your posts or other members posts in order to rank and be able to access specific courses. Not just courses, but also events. If we navigate over to members, this is where you can manage all your community members. You can see details about each of your members. You can also chat privately and customize individual memberships. You can also navigate up here and invite people to your community. Now let's navigate over to leaderboards. And this is community analytics in regards to the gamification feature. And you can see a leadership board for seven days, 30 days, and all time. You can also customize your gamification settings from here. Then if we navigate over to about, this is just the about section for this community. If we navigate up to this chat icon, here you can chat with your group members, or other members across other groups that you're part of, and you can jump between different groups over here. If we navigate over to notifications, this is where you can see notifications for all your groups or just in your group by changing this, just in this group. And finally, our user menu, here we can customize our profile as well as our group settings. Down here, we can access the help center. We can also create a new community, discover new communities or log out. And that is how you can quickly leverage school to build a community and sell your courses. Essentially, what you're doing is you're selling a community, not a course. You're selling a exclusive community that offers value in the form of courses inside. With school, you not only have the advantage of leveraging courses, but you can also host and manage events directly inside of school as well as engage with your community. And the feature of gamification makes your community environment fun and engaging. However, that is it for this brief school.com tutorial showing you how to create an engaging community with school. And there we have it guys, that is it for this school.com tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about building a community or selling online courses with school, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.